Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I'm Ross Miriam. And I'm Corey Ballmeister. And we got Rob in the booth. Say hi, Rob. Hi, uh, Rob. Does it perfectly every time. <laughs> he crashes Love it. Rob. <laughs> He's going to be. It's taking... his shoes that bring him the power. Yes. Uh, how flashy <laughs> are your shoes today, Rob? Uh, it's raining, so I, I'm uh, just okay. wearing my usual shoes. It is. It is raining today yeah. in Roanoke. That's smart. You can't wear the really nice shoes out in the rain. Of course. Got to yeah. keep those fresh. Yep. I did. I did wear my worst uh, uh, yeah. pair of sandals yes, today yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Rob's going to be taking all your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure you tag at Star City Games if you want him to see those and send his favorites over to us. As always, we are brought to you by Star City Games, as well as Carnox Gaming Chairs. If you want one of these chairs, you can get 10% off by using our affiliate link. That is uh, carnox.com slash SCG. We are one match in yep. to our very first show and first You're of officially many. the pioneer. Yes. Yeah. Of the new <laughs> format. Uh, saw a little bit of is it wizards or is it prowess taking down the energy Sahili monster, and now we're moving on to another one of your favorite decks. I think. Yeah. In the history of standard. Uh, <laughs> tell them what you're going to be playing a match to. Yeah. So this is the deck that. Uh... It kind of got me back on the Pro Tour right before Pro Tour Kaladesh. Um, you know, at the time, we weren't great buddies, but me and Brian Brondoon were acquaintances because it was like my brother's pretty good friend. But, you know, now we're full on we're full on besties at this point. You're full on bash bros. We're full on bash bros, yeah. <laughs> TM. <laughs> <laughs> but I am playing a deck similar to what uh, Brian Brondoon won Worlds with back in 2015, playing a green-white base collect a company where you still have like reflector mage uh you get to play jamoka's command which is just an unbelievable magic par yeah. card and then you know obviously collect a company is going to be the card going over the top you have a bunch of human synergies um to work with thalia's lieutenant um and yeah just a just a solid uh a solid creature based deck yeah good aggressive deck has good disruptive elements can play a longer game because of the card advantage with collected company and tireless tracker yep we saw uh brian play some very long games in the finals there against Marcia. Oh Romayo. my god, and yeah, just a sidestep to that. If anybody want to, wants to watch one of the best matches of all times, after versus live, of course, yes. go watch the finals it between Marcia and Brian Brown. I believe was the, the incredible <sighs> It was all good. For my money, yeah. the, the single best game of magic i think uh, that i've ever seen brian will agree yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you play i know you were saying uh we're gonna get the burns in chat but i thought you were burning people here. yeah i i will hopefully it's gonna be a tag team situation i'm gonna yeah. give you some burns chat will give you some burns oh, wow. I, got, I got a burn right now from i'm i'm not russell like probably uh -oh. who that is yeah why is ross playing a red deck again He's just going to draw 50 lands again and lose. <laughs> okay. well, we'll see about that one. Yeah. Hey, you, know, you encourage the burns, man. You yes, set yourself up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I am playing, uh, as I mentioned before the break, a Tarka Red. This is a staple deck in its standard environment. And get some upgrades here. I think Burning Tree Emissary plus Reckless Bushwhacker, super powerful. Yeah. I once registered this combo at a modern Pro Tour. Uh, I didn't do very well, but, uh, <laughs> but Michael Majors did, and he played the same deck. Okay. Uh, and we've seen that combo. It's probably just player error at that yeah. point. Yeah. We've, we've seen that combo in Modern. We've got a lot of good creatures to go along with it. There's Foundry Street Denizen is a really nice one. We've got a lot of good one-drops. Rakdos Cackler, Fire Drinker Seder, just solid rate. I'm playing Bomat Courier for a little bit of card Ooh. advantage. You know, we're going to flood the battlefield Old with Bomi's creatures. back, huh? We're going to send those Atarkas commands up to up to the dome piece and, and see how it goes. I think, right. uh, honestly, if, if I had had to guess on what's going to do well in the early days of the format. I think a Tarka Red will be the default red deck yeah. and will do well. And I think Collected Company is going to be one of the pillars of the format. Yeah. There's so many ways to go with it. You know, you've gone humans. I myself have built an Elves deck, oh, surprisingly. Of course. Uh, yeah. With Shaman of the Pack and, you know, Elvish Clan Caller and okay. Collected Company. You know, you get to play two, two different mana elves in that deck, which is really nice. Do you uh, think it's better or worse than the modern elves deck? Uh, it's certainly worse than modern elves where you get Archdruid and Azuri. Okay, okay. Don't, don't have access to either of those. So. I haven't looked at the elves, yeah. so I didn't know which ones were no, necessarily it, in. The, the Pioneer version is a much more aggressive deck, just instead of being sort of synergy-driven, make a bunch of mana. Uh, you know, we're playing Steel of Champion. That's an elf. Okay, you can okay. Just collect a company end step, put two Steel Leafs into play, attack you for 10, Shaman you. So that, that kind of thing. I think you, you can build just a regular Bant Company deck without any tribal synergies, Spellquell people, still yeah. get Reflector Mage. Maybe you want mana creatures in that kind of deck. Yeah. Maybe you want Gilded Goose Oko. I then don't you know. Can, then you can play Jace, you know? Yeah, you can play uh, uh, Jace Burns Prodigy. Yep. So a lot of ways to go with Collected Company. I'm excited to see what you know people come up with. I'm hoping that people come up with something weird. Like, what if there's like a Jund Company deck? I don't know. That puts something crazy together. What if you played Company and Gruesome Menagerie? Because Menagerie like condenses your curve to one twos and threes. Yeah. So you probably have enough one twos and threes to make that card work too. 
so that even when they kill your stuff, you're bringing it Sounds back. Sounds like you have some brewing to do after work. I have 25 deck lists. <laughs> and the format is 24 hours old. Yeah, I mean, it, it's great. It's exciting. So let's uh, let's not keep the people waiting on this excitement. Let's play some of these games let's and kind of just see what this format's all about. So I lost the first round, so I'm going to be going first. Oops. Oh, you didn't say that. going to be throwing your cards I'm around. getting excited. So that was a three Ooh. Oh, okay. Sounds, We're going to keep this. I'm a little excited. I mean, I don't know if this hand's necessarily great, but it looks fun. So, well, let's go. All right. We're going to reveal this and say go. Just just showing off. Just here. showing off. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will play a Rakdos Cackler. Okay. We'll unleash it. Unleash it. That's just a 2 2 now, right? Cannot block. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. I can make it a 1 1 that can block or a 2 2 that can't. Gotcha. So, we'll reveal again. We only have a 1 1. Your only turn. A 1 1. But it'll be getting bigger. That's what you think. Um, <laughs> I will. All right, there's the Craig. A Zergo Bell Striker, and I will wild slash your lieutenant. Okay. Uh, can't block creatures of power two or greater. Okay. Dash for one in red. 18. Yeah, I forgot how many one mana two twos there are in red. It's kind of absurd. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully this brick wall is you. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Thalia. No, no, no. Hooray! <laughs> oh no, where's your bushwhacker now? Do not have the bushwhacker. Uh, have an ETB tap land, and I'll just pass the turn. All right, not bad. That, that Thalia is going to be bad news. Babe. So here's a little new addition here to the decks that they haven't bought before, and uh, it makes a human. So that, that adds some interesting synergies with this, but nice. I'll pass it to you. Oh, crazy. God, I can't believe I didn't draw a single play on turn four. This is so <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> um, now, don't you remember this lovely spot attacking in a four mana in this format? All right, let's spin. Coco. I remember missing in these times, too. I remember being afraid of attacking a five mana, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I will get a clue. I'm feeling great about these company decks. Okay, so I guess the best one is here. We're going to... Do we need to chump? We're for sure going to block like this. Oh, that was lame. All right, we'll just take six. Okay, take six. All right. Play another Zorgo. Okay. <laughs> You're up. Way to block my legend. Yeah. Oh, dang. That's a legend? Oh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it was a legend. I want to redo. <laughs> You're at 12. All right. Um... Inspector number two. Yep. And pass to you. Man, still no play. You're just going to crack some clues. <laughs> I know, man. Got to draw some cards. Um. Hmm. Yeah, got to love blocking the only wrong creature there, chat. That one was my bad. I should learn to learn to read. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of awkward. In that I want to do both of these main phase, but then that lets you just know what's up. But uh, you kind of know what's up anyway. I already know, yeah. yeah. Uh, Atarkus command you and pump my team. So you take three, go to nine. Okay. Then I will surge a reckless bushwhacker. Okay. So, now, uh, so it's going to enter tapped, but all my creatures will get plus one plus so. So they're all four threes. Okay. Every attack with four four threes. Brick again, please. Um, They're all four threes, huh? Yep. The Stalia Hair Trick Thar is really annoying. I wish I hadn't wild slashed the lieutenant. I just thought yeah. the lieutenant was going to get really big. But I guess I probably, I, I could have just waited. That that was, a, yeah. I, if I just literally hold up the wild slash and I get your Hair Trick Thar. We didn't miss this time, buddy. I think I win this game easily. We didn't miss this Maybe time. Easily, okay. But. So we're going to we're gonna let the public here know about these choices. We got Tracker, Pacifist, Glory Bound Initiate, a new one I was trying out. And then as well as Thalia's Lieutenant. I know Thalia's Lieutenant is going to be one. Um, now, is there a way to play this so I can keep it alive? And then this just gains an absurd amount of life. I mean, uh, so... Or I could just pacifist here. I could just track her. If, you, if this ends up being a 2-2 two -two and these end up being two fours... They're four threes? Yeah. So okay. the, the, you can double block and then single block and then... And then probably chump and I think I'll keep this back. And then yeah. I can just initiate here. We're going to do that. We're going to put these at the bottom so okay. everything gets a counter. Uh, including the lieutenant, which sees the, the initiate yep, come in. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. And so I'm going to lose both emissaries. I'm going to take four. Yep, and you'll go to five. And I lose one of these, right? Uh, yeah, and, and the this. 
So we traded two for two, but we're now pretty far behind on the battlefield. Oh, uh, yeah. And the initiates. So I'm at four? At, uh, or no, I'm at four. five. You're at five. Okay. And Done. then I'll pass the turn. All right. Yeah, two collected companies, even with the first one whiffing. The, the Thalia was just... Yeah, I made a mistake on literally on turn two. Yeah, I just hold up the slash. I'm gonna exert this. Oh, we, oh, we do have an exert. Oh god, you guys are good. So that's gonna be five. So sit. Uh, yeah, five. So I go to fifteen. You go to ten. Yeah, fifteen to ten, and then. Yeah, now you can just sit behind castle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sack a clue first. Your turn. It's just it's third company. <laughs> what? I, how would you know? Okay, well I am very dead. Oh, well, you but no, we better play this out. I mean, this is anybody's game. I mean, uh, Ross has to draw 50 cards first. Go. Okay, yeah, that's tap, though. Yeah. All right, collect a company. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think you could completely brick on this one. That's <laughs> fine. Untap? Yeah. All right, well, we will sack a clue, counter. Oh, I've, I remember doing that. Okay, now do we want to just get you dead or just say play a little defense? Yeah. We'll play this, and uh, we'll just say go. <laughs> Last night I was trying to figure out a way I could make hardened scales and Thalia's lieutenant work. Oh, so like two counters on all my things, and two counters on it when humans enter. But like <laughs> there weren't other humans that like played with counters. This so you have does. twenty-five decks, but uh, twenty-two of them are unplayable. Uh, <laughs> They're Thalia lieutenant hardened scales decks. I mean, just, don't, don't you just play a superior two drop at Silverseer? Uh, I mean, you, I don't know. The humans are a little bit more powerful, I think, overall. Lieutenants just are like that. Is lieutenants a really powerful match? It's day one, Rob. We don't have to. Uh, we don't have to be the fun police this, already. This, you know, if he wants to Thalia and Harden scales, let him. Is servant of the scale a human? With the podcast, I'm just trying. To help <laughs> yeah, <out right> yeah. <laughs> I think servant of the scale is a human. All right, I'll untap. Can I get a? Can I get a kind uh, of confirmation on that from chat? Maybe that. Boink. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> See, boink don't you want to be putting boink. two counters on all your things? I think uh -huh. you should do the arena sound effects from now on. <laughs> I will exert these. We'll get that one in there too. What? Come on, anybody's game. I only had a Dramokas command. <laughs> <laughs> Dramokas command is very well, good. Well, we even, I, I was like, oh, this is what kind of day it's going to be. We're just going to, uh, you know, collect a company. My first five cards were misses and I'm like, okay, here we go. Uh, but the the second two were quite strong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are going to move on to game two, where I yep. will be on the play, fortunately. And uh, before that, we'll take some questions from the chat. All right. Hesteus wanted to know, uh, how many bans do you think there are going to happen before this format becomes stable? Let's let's talk about an over under on time frame. Okay, like let's say let's say three months. No, let, let, let's give it five months. Weren't you saying five months, Rob? The first GP's in what, January, right? January, so, yeah. Let's say before that first, first yeah, Grand Prix. In 2019, I'm, I'm going to set the line at two Magic cards get banned. Do you think it's going to be gotta, under so or over? Set it at 2.5. 2.5. And honestly, I'm going to take the over, but it's close. I would take the under on that. I, I think exactly two are going to be banned. Which, which two? Felidar Guardian, Sahil... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know which two. I don't know which ones are too busted. I, I don't have anything specific in mind. Um, I, I, if, if I could think about it, you know, I, I don't want to steal your answer because you were thinking Mox Amber, but yes. that makes sense because the few decks that I've seen that just look absolutely broken involve Emery and Mox or Kethis and Mox. So I, I think those kind of decks are really degenerate and not fun to play against because your opponent's just, you know, d you know, doing like KCI things, you know, where they're just playing by themselves. Um, and, th and that's not fun magic. So, yeah, the, the only one. I could see, uh, you know, Felidar Guardian being banned if somebody finds the right shell for that. But I, I also don't. see that yeah. just being, you know, a part of the format. Yeah. Um, and then I definitely have Mox Amber on the chopping block. I'm not sure beyond that, but I always just have a feeling that, you know, smarter people than me. And, you know, we've got millions of people now playing, you know, the, the, the format. They'll find yep. something. So I, I think they'll find a card or two. And so that, that's why I think it's close between two and three cards. Yeah, I think that's close too. about Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise, whether or not they're overpowered. Well, we just saw Treasure Cruise in match one not look particularly good, even in a deck full of cantrips. Yeah. And honestly, like, the Dreadheart Arcanist looked more important. 
I wonder if like a Jeskai tokens ascendancy, like there was like a token ascendancy yeah. deck, right? Like with like rays from the alarm, you know, Jeskai ascendancy. I think it had like stoke the flames or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. Outburst. Yeah, that like being Jason like a deck. deck. Yeah, you play Jason that deck. I think that's a shell where you dig through time and treasure cruise is going to be a yeah. going to be busted. Like a, a fair ascendancy deck. But since we don't have sack lands, it, it, dig through time and treasure cruise warp the format because there were sack lands, yeah. right? Like now that you don't have that, you have to work to make those cards good. You know, you have to do the Seder Wayfinder and, you know, stuff like that, or you have to do Ascendancy and stuff. It, it's just not given to you. And that's why the thing got banned in the first place. Now, I wasn't in my prime playing constantly when those cards got banned, so I wasn't firsthand uh, yeah. going. But that seems why they banned it. It's because anybody with a sack line could do it, you know? Yeah. The thing that you think that it is more likely to just happen way in the future as the format grows larger. Yeah, I bet, I bet you know, six sets down the line, eventually we're going to have sack lines in the format, but maybe they just get the ban right away and they preserve this pioneer format away from sack lines in general. I would like that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think love this man. I think they are explicitly yeah. trying to do that. I, yeah, I don't I just, think... I just mean if we get cards like Thought Scour, I'm not... Yeah, I don't, I don't sure. think we're going to see cards like that that really enable these strategies. I, I think they... They're going to keep a close eye to make sure Pioneer doesn't become like that. Yeah. Uh, because they want these fun Delve cards to be around but yeah. not be overpowered. Uh, as far as Dig Through Time, which we didn't get through, I think it's just going to be one of the staple cards in Control decks. Yeah. And we saw that happen in Standard. And uh, yeah, look, Dig Through Time was really good, but it wasn't overpowered. People beat yeah. those Control decks. Yeah. Uh, and I think it, something similar is going to happen. You so. know what? You know what? The one thing I really hate about this Pioneer format, though? What? I have a pro tour to test for, and I do not want to play standard right now. This format is way too sweet. I, yeah. I, I'm the same with modern for this weekend in Atlanta. I just lost like for sure 50 places in this pro tour's equity for sure. So yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's, too, it's too sweet. Yeah. Um, God. You want to stay at home from Atlanta? And we'll just uh, we'll we'll bash no, some. I think I'll I'll still attend, but I'm gonna take a mulligan on the okay. hand. All right. So we look at my hand. Um, you know, I mean, we're we're a little land light, but we have some cards that are really good, kind of brick walls against hyper aggressive decks. So I I mean, we gotta keep. We could get uh, punished for this, but we got a question there, Rob. While yeah. we wait. So a few people have asked about some kind of version of Jeskai Black. Um, and my question more for that was. How far do you think we can push mana bases in this format? Think what? What? How far do you think we can push? Put, mana we can bases push in this them. Um, uh, Sack lands were the things that allowed you to push. Yeah, but, yeah, it was fetch lands and battle lands that really did it. So uh, a four color control deck. I mean, I'm skeptical. Well, to be honest, if you guys want to see a four color deck and how it fares. The one I have for my third match is pushing the mana base to the absolute limit. And I will straight up say the mana base sucks in that deck. Like I, I feel like if if I get lucky and I draw my uh my certain colors and stuff, the deck is insanely powerful, but I'm gonna have a fail rate with that deck. So I, I don't wanna spoil it quite yet because it's an exciting throwback. I don't know if we spoil it already on Twitter or something. Not quite yet, right? Okay, sweet. Then I won't spoil it yet. But we we with with just Sky Black, like I wonder if you could just cut it down to Esper. You don't take good advantage of Soulfire Grandmaster, like turning your burn spells into life gain cards, uh, but you can still activate it, right? Because it was blue or red mana in yeah. the activation. And then you streamline your mana base. You get to play Thoughtseize, good black removal, still get to play Jace. Maybe that's where you want to go. But the thing is, like, didn't that deck play Dig Through Time and Murderous Cut? Uh, is it Murderous Cut, the five mana? It Delphine? played Murderous Cut. At, so. Well, like Murderous Cut, Crackling Doom. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean that deck did uh, take over Pro Tour Wisconsin, Milwaukee, or whatever. It was that definitely we were one at, of the yeah. better decks uh, in the room there. I, I, I don't know. I, th I'm, re I'm definitely skeptical of pushing to a four color mana base because we're going to have fast decks like a Tarka Red. And, you know, this company deck can put you under a lot of pressure. So yeah. if you're trying to play just like a bunch of temples and, and ETB tap lands to make sure you have all the right duels to fix all your all your colors, like. Uh, and I don't see the need to play something like Crackling Doom. Like the, it, yeah. that was that might be a little bit too slow for this format. Be. And it's particularly bad in matchups in against. The Maybe we decks. need cards like you were suggesting, like Mana Confluence, you know, to facilitate them. And I mean, that is a cost. You know, that's, that's a, a big huge cost. cost for you know, control. you draw two of those on your th out of your three lands, and like you're you're gonna be. You best believe your cards better be powerful. You know. Oh, uh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> are we going to five? It's a one lander with a, one of my root bound crags. <laughs> oh no! Just needed it. first. The seven carter was a four lander. I'm just like that's one too many. Yeah. This is. 
Uh, it's pretty good if I hit. I actually think I keep this. Okay. Um, mine, uh, mine isn't the fastest, so I guess my deck doesn't go super fast, but. Uh, I think we're going to put that one on the bottom. All right, let's do it. I'm going to guess a rootbound Craig Go. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Breeding pool tap, go. That's a tilt. Uh, Denizen, you're up. And that's the whenever a red creature enters, it gets bigger? Okay. Yep. Oh, right on time there. So we're going to go with uh, Pacifist. Your turn. There's our bit of our brick wall here. Legion Loyalist. Okay. You're up. All right. Yeah, we're falling too far behind already. Yeah, that's not great for you. All right. So we're going to go with Pacifist and a Thraven Inspector. Get yep. a clue. Your turn. And these can attack, um, and they do flip for anybody who doesn't remember what the other half was. Uh, becomes a 4-4, four four, um, which is quite powerful. Yeah. Play a Bowman Courier, Pass turn. All right. Now we get to do my favorite sequence ever. Your turn. <laughs> Slip. <laughs> draw land. Like I had, yeah. I had this rolled up, and like just needed to draw another land. Don't worry, Couldn't we do can it. play another one. I, I was gonna play company. Did you not <laughs> guess that? We better, we better see what we would have hit. Oh, cha ching. Check please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just had all the options to. Oh baby, Coco is back, and I'm a happy core. <laughs> okay, well, we but we got to play another one. That was no fun. Yeah, those are very quick. We'll play yeah. definitely one more free board, and maybe we'll have time for two post board. Because yeah, teams might be able to do best quickly. of five on this one. I think I'm uh, in for that. Yeah. You want to do uh, more pre? Or... Yeah, we'll do one more pre. One more pre, and then two post board. Yeah, I like that. How about we get a question? I know uh, we probably got a lot of them out there. Yeah, Ross, why are you playing like Fire Drinker Seder instead of a Card like Monastery Swiss Spear? Uh, well, one my deck only has four spells in it. Yeah, so, you're mostly creatures. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I decide to go heavy creatures to maximize the Tarkus command. This is different than the way you know Tarka red decks were built in their standard format. They were playing dragon fodder, hoarding outburst. Uh, or I played. A, I submitted a, a Tarkus command for a pro tour. Except I played like uh, Den Protector. Um, the <laughs> Teamer Battle Rage become immense. Teamer Battle deck. Rage become immense. That deck was insane. Oh man, it was awesome. I went eight and two at that pro tour, and my one loss was a or one of my two losses was a punt too. So that was a that was a frustrating one. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun deck. That was fun. But uh, yeah, so I, I think in a, in a different way, you could build the shell differently to be more token oriented if you wanted to. Uh, but you know, dragon fodder just seems like a really underpowered card to me to be putting in your decks. Uh, you know, you could play Hordling Outburst, Stoke the Flames, things like that. That, yeah. that seems okay, or, or maybe Rabble Master instead, but Rabble Master is not a spell either. So I think you are going to want a mixture of some good spells and creatures. I, I feel like, you know, you're going to get into these spots where they just play a 3-3 three, three and you're going to feel like you don't want yeah. a Suicide Tack a 2-2. Two, two. Um, so it feels like you really want to have something that pushes through, like maybe like Stoke or, I mean... Lightning strike's probably pretty weak. What are what are your best removals and red? We got, some, we got some removal on the sideboard, don't you worry? Yeah. Yeah. Or uh do you ever think of Earthshaker Kenra? Uh that's an interesting one. Yeah. It's castable off of Burning Tramissary, which is nice. It's not yep. a red red card. Yep. So uh yeah, that's definitely an option. Uh my hand here is much better. Easy keep. Yeah. Mine is okay. We do have uh our mana base is not great, but I think it's still good enough to keep. Okay, I will start with the Bowmet Courier okay. card under it. You're Gotta 19. love that. You can go. Getting standard flashbacks. Mm -hmm. All right. right. So are you going to try to force on our Clyde Phoenix deck? Your turn. Uh, oh, believe me, I've got a Phoenix deck built. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. Uh, let's get in for another one. All right, 18. And then I will play Cackler Seder. Let's unleash the Cackler. Okay. And this is just a 2-1 that can pump. And it, it deals that much damage back. Yeah, when it okay. gets dealt, it's Jackal Pup. Okay. Pump itself. All right, we're going to reveal this and play a pacifist. Your turn. Yeah, here, you know, just a removal on my one creature feels like real bad, but if it gets to live, it feels real good. Uh, shocked at 18. Okay, 18 all. And send the clowns in. Send in the clowns. Um, so now I have a choice. It's definitely not blocking here. I either try to block this or I try to get Bowmat out of here. And I think with three cards, I focus more on Bowmat. So I'm going to block Bowmy. 
Okay, I am going to. Uh, Tarkus command. Tarkus command. You go to fifteen. Okay. And, and then, uh, pumping the team for your other mode. Yeah, or? pump the team in the other mode. Okay. And then I will sack the courier. Okay. Discard land. So take six as well. I got a nine. Yep. So I want me to tell you to try to build Phoenix around Finale instead of Cruise. You can go. Okay. Ooh, that was a spicy draw. All right, so nine life points. I got to be a little afraid here, but not a ton. Let me read this. This card's good. It was a staple in red decks. Yeah, card's a pain. Fortunately, those red decks existed at the time of Master Waves and Tidebinder Mage, so. That's fair. All right, we're going to reveal that same forest and go with Thalia. Your turn. Ugh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to attack with a courier that last turn so I could you know, get the wild slash out of my hand. Courier is... For, oh, you had a wild slash? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I'm, I'm in rough shape. Uh, so Emissary, Denizen, Legion Loyalist all enter. I think that was in... The, yep, the Craigs, yep. Okay. But we can still play all of them. Pass the turn. Okay. I think we're going to need to draw a second copy of Artarchus Command here. Pass to you. You just have Collected Company every game? <laughs> what? No, I'm just getting flooded, man. I just have nothing. All I have is another forest. You know that. Mm, fifth, fifth land is not good. <laughs> we, we made five land drops in three games and one land drop in another. Which Done. Two games. Collected Company. But de deck is definitely short uh -oh. on removal. Oh, no. For a like this. Only one. Oh, no. And it's a werewolf. <laughs> so I only get one token. All right. That wasn't great. That wasn't great. Go. Uh, yep. You're up. All right. I did draw another one. So I guess the code code drew me right into one. So that's not bad. Okay. So we'll definitely do these. And now I have an option between Thraven Inspector or Reflector Mage. Um... You are starting to amass a decent amount, but I don't think just bouncing one of your one drops is that good. So we're just going to get Thriving Inspector. So I'll get a clue. Everything that gets three counters. Yep. Yep. You're right. This one does not get one. That's true. All right. So you only got most of them wrong. <laughs> All right. So... Now we're going to... Now we got to start getting aggressive, but these uh, these cards are really annoying. I don't know exactly how to get through them, but... Um, so we're going to go with a tracker. We'll get another clue. And now, how aggressive do we want to get here? I don't think we can go too crazy here. Oh, we get tokens on these. Oh, did your wolf flip back? I'm sorry? Did your wolf flip back it up to you? I do, oh, when you did this, I bet it did, huh? When you cast three things. But then you just passed back and played a company, right? I did, yeah. So oh, it would have okay. just flipped okay. back. So it would have flipped back again, yeah. Yeah, it should have been a 3-3 three, three on Corey's turn. but. Okay, so... I don't think I can attack. These things are really annoying. I have to just say go. Okay. You're up. All right, sack a clue. This is uh, not going well. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's going great. Okay, that's going to be something that can probably push me over the edge here. Um, now we're going to go with a Glorybound Initiate. Counter, counter, and then a Thraben Inspector. Counter, counter. Now it's going to flip back, but let's see. Do we want to get in there with something now? We're going to get in here with Thraven Inspector. 16. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll pass to you. This will flip. Pass the turn. All right. End step. Uh, I just had one clue. Sack. Draw. Just kill me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Corey just loves playing with his food. I really do. I really, really do. You don't even have Oko and you're still playing with your food. I know. I know. All right. Well, I guess I will exert this. And maybe I want to attack with this. 
And you better not get too carried away. I'm dead. We'll go like that. <laughs> what? I mean, your 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 two one blockers are quite obnoxious to deal with. But did you miss? Did you misread them? Yeah. The Isn't it whenever they're dealt damage? Yeah, it deals me damage. Oh, I thought it was dealing me damage. No, it's not. Oh, just, I'd be bashing just, in. It's not just one man aboard us wrecking her. Oh, okay, okay. New format, y'all. I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying Reflector Mage, Thalia's Attendant, and Dramogus Command was going to be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to take a break for sideboarding and to, you know, let Corey read all the cards. Uh, and we'll be back and finish up uh, this this match. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to sideboarding here on Versus Live between Atarka Red and Bant Humans. Uh, we noticed in the pre in the uh, pre board games, uh, my deck struggled just dealing with some of your early roadblocks. We didn't have enough removal in the main deck, so we're bringing in some extra wild flashes. And we have three copies of Rending Volley. This is a card that's very good at answering Felidar Guardian, but also excellent in this matchup. Uh, should really help out here. Clear those early blockers. Let me get in some damage and then set up a big Atarkas command mm. turn. Uh, <clears throat> and we're Did you ever consider Flame Slash? Uh, Flame Slash is not legal. It's not? Rise. That's from Rise. So you did right? not consider it? Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I do not believe Flame Slash. I, is yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. It just seemed like a card that would be legal. But no, yeah, it, sorry. That's Rise of the Elder Oz. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're cutting some of our creatures that match up poorly in combat. You know, Corey's not blocking with tokens, so Legion Loyalist isn't great here. His creatures are going to outsize ours most of the time, so the first strike and trample not super relevant. We're trimming one Bowman Courier and then trimming one Zergo because it's legendary, so we have some diminishing returns there. Yeah. Just needed to make room for these removal spells, and I think these are the weaker creatures. One thing I want to say about Bowman is, you know, Bowman is just an all-star up against decks that use spot removal, you know, just in general. So any kind of black-based deck or, you know, any slower ramp-style deck, you just get so much card advantage. But in a matchup where I just, I play creatures from turn two on, it becomes yeah. a lot more invalidated. Okay, so for me, we're taking out our three trackers just because, you know, red is probably going to shock it. We don't usually win with that card advantage. I mean, it was nice this last game. And then we're taking out Oko, Thief of Crown. Uh, not the matchup for it. Maybe Oko just doesn't have a place. I really wanted to incorporate our current powerhouse into these first two decks to see kind of how the power level stacks up between this and previous standard decks. And so far, I'm not impressed. But, you know, I mean, it's small sample size. I'm sure I'll eat yeah. those words later. You, you might look at Oko and think, oh, it's a life gain card against a red aggro deck. This is going to be great. But yeah. the other, like, it's a mediocre life gain card if yeah. that's all you're using it for. And the plus one ability is not going to be particularly good. You know, your yeah. creatures are already bigger than mine. So you, and the abilities on my creatures don't matter. So you don't want to turn mine into three threes, and you don't need to turn what yours. We're talking into about threes. they don't matter. I was just playing around an ability that I thought completely worked the other way just well, moments ago. <laughs> if you understand how the cards work, if I can yeah. read, yes, yes, thank you. Yes, not, I know. Just not going to be relevant in a matchup <laughs> where I'm flooding the battlefield with creatures. And uh, what I get to bring in here is some new toys. These were not in Brian Braun Dillon's list. We had kind of the replacement where Tragic Arrogance was the big card where we kind of saw him win his world title with. Time wipe's insane. You get to save a creature and deal with your board as well as. Deputy Detention, I think is going to be okay. I, I don't think this is going to be the end-all catch-all because you are going to have removal to deal with it. But, you know, I, I might be able to... This will really slow you down. Yeah. And no, if I can hit that off a company, like, that'll really mess you up. I'm definitely scared uh, of that card. I don't have that much removal for it. You know, Wild Slash yep. doesn't kill it. We don't have Lightning Bolt, so I have yeah. to Rending Volley it. Yeah. So that that's going to be... That's definitely a, a worrisome card. Maybe yeah. I'm supposed to have the Abrades in, too, but that's just a lot of removal now and in my deck. And it's slow. Abrade is super slow, yeah. I feel. So, And if I'm going company and you're going Abrade one of those threats and I'm getting counters from it, like, yeah. that doesn't feel great. And, you know, I have been known to play company in this uh, three-game oh, set so you. far. <laughs> Remember to keep your questions flowing in, everybody. We love answering them today. Yeah, make sure you tag at Star City Games in the chat so Rob can see yep. them. Yep. Uh, and I'll if there's anything you don't like about it, remember to tag at Shaheen Sarani and uh, complain whenever you'd like to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a reasonable hand here. First appearance of uh, this card, which is a nice one, and hopefully it does some oh. work here against Corey's ground creatures. This card is really bad against me. Uh, I'll We're start on, try it. Start on a Fire Drinker Seder. Oh, can't, can't block it. I can't attack into gonna, that. Yeah, it's going to deal so much damage to oh you. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to go with a Breeding Pool tap and pass it to you. Okay, I will attack you for two. All right, I'll take it. Uh, and then I'll shock to 18 myself and play a Smuggler's Copter. Smugs? Oh, smugs. I like you know. that. I like that a lot. 
Big smugs. All right, we're going to go with this reveal temple garden. That does work with tools, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Todd wants to know what uh, karaoke songs y'all are going to do at at SCG Con Winter. Oh, God, I don't know. Well, we've got plenty of time to worry about that. We do, we do. Your turn. And Todd's the karaoke master, so we'll... uh... We'll let him. We'll let him think of a playlist. We'll answer that question back, Todd. What are you gonna debut? Bomat Courier. Bomies. Okay. And then say go. Um. Through the copter. Okay. Attack. Uh, we'll resolve this one first, and then loot. Okay. May I block? Um, I wonder if I just want more of these because you just have such a hard time blocking them. Um, but what else am I discarding? Uh, could get risky and discard this. No, I think I, think I have to discard the other copter. Discard the other smogs, um, okay. And I think I want to keep this Bowmat around, so I'm going to slash before blocks. Okay. I just wanted to see what I looted into first. Sure. I'll go to 14. If you go to 14, I will then uh, play a Stomping Ground tapped and pass the turn. All right. Um, hmm. It's not a bad draw on our end. We're going to have to take two regardless. Go to 12. And now we got options. We got a bunch of good cards here. Now, which one's the best? I think, I think we just have to deal with this smuggler's copter. It is just way too threatening right now. Could work out poorly, but we're going to go like that. Uh, we we're hoping you had the other smugs there and just really go to town. That does work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I... I thought about shocking myself, but then you would just know what the that the jig was up. Yeah. Uh, I'll play an emissary, get red green, rending volley the deputy, okay. green floating. Use that green to pump into the satyr. And, and you take it, a damage for that or something, right? Uh yeah. So okay. I take one to seventeen. I'll attack for four and get a, another card under the courier. Eight. Use you to eight, and I'll pass the turn. So okay. I have mana up for the courier in case Corey goes after that. And I have a Pretty sizable advantage on the battlefield, and Corey's at a somewhat low life total. Yeah, I don't love any of those things. It's uh, it's amazing what putting some removal in your deck will do. Yeah, shocked. Um, actually, uh, it was it was this card that got shocked. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Guy wins one game, and he's all up in his chair. <laughs> I, haven't even, I haven't even won it yet. <laughs> all right, I think we're just going to. All right. God, I think we have to. No, maybe I think I have a better plan. We can kind of minimize the damage Bowmat's going to deal with this. Okay. I think we target Bowmat here. Just force the issue. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, I have to definitely cash it in now for yep. the two cards. I can now cast other Bowmat Couriers I draw since the ability didn't actually resolve. Exactly. Pass it to you. And we're definitely in uh, dangerous territory here, and you drawing three cards there is not great. That was a pretty good draw. Uh-oh. Uh, Castle Embreath. Oh, that was good. A Foundry Street Denizen. Okay. Crew the Copter. And now I get to get in with everything and put you to one. So, yeah, and I have to block, huh? Yeah, we'll get in with everything. We'll trigger the copter. And you you actually, I think you, uh, it's one either way. Yeah. Uh, so that was a good draw, too. Yeah, we have to block the embassy. Tarkus command. Okay. Three, pump my okay. team. <laughs> you know, it. I think if I was on the play, I think I would have won because my hand is still quite strong. But, uh, I mean, that's the jet. So many people are going to say, oh, if I had this, I would have won. It's a red deck. It kills you before you get your feeding. You know what yeah. I mean? So that happens. But, yeah. 
No, that was a much more impressive uh, showing. I think Smuggler's Copter definitely had a, played a part there. Yeah, Sm you know? old Smugs was good. I mean, Deputy was nice and all, but yeah, I really needed uh, something to be able to deal with it. You know, another sideboard card that I could see if this kind of thing becomes popular is like Night of Autumn. If I had a Night of Autumn there, that would have been nice. Yeah, with Heart yeah. of Kieran and Smuggler's Copter yep. in the <laughs> format. It's kind of bad because Night of Autumn is not a human, right? I don't think it is. Uh, Do we think? I'm not Rob? sure. No, I believe it's yeah. an elf. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah, I remember it not knight. being. So, I mean, you know, you're putting in deputy, you're putting in knights, and you're going away from your human synergy, which does make things worse. But, you know, when it's such uh, powerful effects, like against red, gaining life, or killing a smugs, like, yeah. very strong card. Yeah, okay. And killing Heart of Kieran. You, you mentioned Oko not being super impressive for you yet. Have you, have you played next to Heart of Kieran yet? So I have enough loyalty to, you know. Heart of Kieran? Yeah. Or oh. you just remove loyalty from a Planeswalker because Oko has like 12. It's a Dryad Knight. Yeah. Whoa. Does that, sound, does that sound good to you? Or what about Teferi, Heart of Kieran? Yeah. That seems they nice. They can't even push it when you... Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a Thursday uh, idea on my mm -hmm. hand. Little, yeah. Little ban, ban heart. Or like Mardu Vehicles. You know, you get an aggressive Heart of Kieran deck as well with Scrounger and stuff like that. I bet that's still good. Yeah. You know? You, know, you, you can play... Uh, Unlicensed Disintegration. <laughs> Maybe that's not quite good enough, but... You can play Oko, make a bunch of food, and then play Karn Cyanaversa and make some big constructs. That's another Planeswalker that can true heart, too. Yeah, yeah. Artifact-centric. Maybe you've got some Metallic Rebukes in your deck. Yeah. I don't know what other artifacts you play. Witching Will. Maybe play Emery, because Emery can cast Heart of Kirin from the graveyard. Heart of Kirin and the Royal Scion seems kind of disgusting together, too. Yeah. Turn, t turn six four flying. 6-4. Six yeah. Turn 3. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. There's a lot of stuff. And it triggers do. your prowess stuff. There's a lot of stuff you can do with uh you can do with Hardicure. Yeah, I think Hardicure is one card I haven't seen on like anybody's lists or radars. And that card is insane. Like that card was good, you know? Especially with all the it didn't have three mana planeswalkers at the time, right? Like it didn't have any of them. It's really just Sahili. Yeah, yeah, just Sahili and like that those didn't work that well together. Yeah. But there's a lot of three mana high loyalty planeswalkers now that might uh really benefit from that. So yep. the sky's the limit on this. Let's get one more of this match in quickly and then yep. move on to game uh, match three because match three. match three I'm excited about. Should we spoil it or? We'll, we'll spoil it at the end before we go to break. All right. <laughs> I've, I've got another risky one on the draw, but it is really powerful if I hit land, so I'm going to keep. Mine's not great, but I'm going to try it. Um, let's start with this tapped. Your turn. I will play a Rakdos Cackler. Okay. You're up. All right. So now we're going to play this, revealing this, and Thalia's Lieutenant. Your turn. That is a draw. I uh, will play Burning Tree Emissary. Oh, my God. Um, so I could do these, but I think I'd rather just bushwhack you. Attack for eight. All right. We'll block the bushwhacker. Okay. Tick six. Fourteen. Fourteen. You can go. <clears throat> All right. Now we got to take two, unfortunately, and go to 12. Yep. Your turn. Try to shut down the power a little bit. Wild slash that. Uh -oh. Play a Bomat Courier. Attack oh, for five. Get a card under it. Seven. You're up. <laughs> Wisely save the wild slash for that Thalia. Yeah. Go. Now we might be in some trouble. <laughs> uh, that would have been a good draw if it weren't for the other Thalia. <laughs> um, Hasty creature. Yep. Gotta love that. Attack. All right. You got two cards? I got three. Three. Uh, we need to just preserve damage. So, right, yeah, we'll block that one. Brings you to four. Yep. Okay, play a Zergo. Okay. Pass the turn. All right, well, I'll get in there. 17. Time wipe. <laughs> Do you want to discard your cards? I'm at four, though, so this is definitely not any safe territory or anything. But I don't think I want to discard these because it gives me so many good draws. Uh -oh. so... Okay, your turn. Uh, burning tree emissary. No. Three you. <laughs> no. You go to one. Yeah. You're up. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna die to a burn spell at the top, but we'll play Thalia. 
We'll give it a counter and then land go. I'll flash you. That goes to face? Yeah, it's a, just a shock. Oh, I, my right. hand was double Atarkas command at the time. I just didn't need a green hand. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, why didn't you just kill me with that? All right. What I have okay. this. Would have been a lot better draw. than the two cards we had. Yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. Okay. okay. Well, you redeemed yourself there at the end. You still lost the match, but yes, uh, you but still redeemed I, yourself. I showed the, what the deck can do. Definitely needs <clears throat> to play some more remo uh, removal in the removal. main deck. Yep. Because, uh, I mean, you, your big turns were when you killed my one blocker and I took five, and then I'm just on the back foot. Yes. You know, and so, I wasn't yeah. able to do that in the first couple games. I also uh, think some number of Hazreps just seems right. Like, that card was just so messed up, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I could see if you raise the curve a little bit. Because but right now, that deck doesn't have a card that costs more than two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm playing, I, I think, either 19, 20 lands, some, something in that range. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, Hazard, I think, forces you to go a little bit bigger. Maybe if you're playing with like light up the stage uh, to make it help you hit your land drops. Uh, I definitely have a red deck that does that. That could play Hazard. What about uh, Karizov? Uh, Karizov double tri triggers uh, Denison with the monkey. You, well, kind of like it. You have to give it haste to like double yeah, trigger in one yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It triggers but, it every yeah. turn. <clears throat> It's kind of a mediocre two drop. Yeah, I mean uh, it's 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 it hits for the most out of all your uh, two drops, right? Because it's three damage technically. Yeah, I mean, but like emissary is basically free, and reckless yeah. bushwhacker is, like sometimes represents like five. Yeah, and there's yeah. no, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, not sure if it's another sure two drop in the deck, that. or there, there's copter, yeah. but a copter is just copter. Yeah, uh, that card only dirt won the one game, but it looked as good as as we remembered it being oh yeah i uh, that's one of my pet cards yeah. i love smuggler's copter and i kind of forgot about it because it did get banned pretty quickly yeah it was only around for uh you know one set cycle you know three months four months uh, yeah so yeah, yeah not, not a lot of time with that card and i'm ex definitely excited to get back to playing that one and i mean as far as from my side uh it's a it's a story as old as time yes. this card is still good <laughs> unsurprisingly also, the games where that you won involved turn four co collected company. No, it turn involved turn four company. and turn five collected yeah. company. Yeah, that, you know, still a very powerful card. Like yep. I said, I think it's it'll be one of the staples of the format. Yep. And I don't even think this deck is anywhere near tuned. So I mean, I think uh, Bant human collected company synergies are going to be a force to reckon with. We'll see if it's tier one. I mean, we don't we don't really know. But I am not done with collected companies yet. This time, I am bringing another classic hit, another one of my favorite decks of all times. I am bringing Four Color Rally with uh, collected companies, you know, such hits as Nantuko Hust, Jace Friends Prodigy, um, uh, Zertek Cutthroat or whatever, the Drain one. Zulaport Cutthroat. Zulaport Cutthroat. You know, a bunch. Now we get we get new cards, though. We get Stitcher Supplier, which is an engine that we didn't get before. We get... We had Seder Wayfinder, I believe. Maybe not, though. Uh, I don't think you had it. I don't think so. So now we get to really kind of just put our graveyard upside down. But the problem we're missing is, is Sacklands. The mana base is incredibly, or it, it's just so much worse. You know, Wayfinder does help, though. Wayfinder does help. Um, essentially, it is a Abzan deck that plays blue just for Jace because Jace uh, flashing back collected companies or flashing back rallies is unbelievably strong. But the mana base doesn't necessarily support it. You'll see me playing a, a, a few questionable lands that I think I just have to, but uh, it's exciting. What are you playing? I am going to be playing Mono Green Devotion or nearly Mono Green. It's Simic. Yep. Uh, you know, I think an easy way to go when you know you have eight mana cre eight one mana elves yep uh for mana creatures also playing sylvan carry added to provide some defense against aggressive decks and the the other uh you know third mana creature i wanted to push this hard and yeah. i initially started brewing with burning tree emissary which is what the standard list initially played but i eventually landed on playing leyline of abundance Ooh. which ramps your mana creatures and comes down for free at the beginning of the game provides that early devotion we also get to play castle garenbrig to ramp we get to play Nissa. Who you can't the forget world. about Nykthos. Yes. I mean, it's all built around Nykthos. Yeah. Nykthos yeah. is the card that I'm trying really hard to break. I'm going to be working on red devotion decks with Fanatic of Mogus. I'll, I'll, I'll be working on devotion decks of all, every color. Yeah. Uh, and trying to go mm -hmm. hard. Gray Merchant of Asphodel, anything I can. Yeah. Just four Nykthos, one color, and see what we can do. This SCG in Atlanta is going to be the least prepared for yeah. a tournament by any player on the circuit. Everyone's going to be like, I don't know. I've just been playing Pioneer decks. I I, I just picked this deck from yeah. a 5-0 deck dump. Like. <laughs> my blue splash is for, unsurprisingly, Hydroid Crisis. 
Uh, so with Nyssa and Leyline of Abundance, we can cast really big ones, you know, draw a bunch of cards, Pelucranos people. So it should be doing some really fun stuff going way over yeah. the top, and you're just <clears> going to be trying to combo kill me. I'm going to be trying to combo kill you. We're going to see uh, if this engine and the mana base can uh, uh, deal with you. I have my predictions about how this matchup's going to go, but there's only one way to find out. We will be uh, just taking a short five-minute break, and then we'll be back uh, with our third and final round for the marbles.